say there are very few companies that have the very successful vector pages and uh, uh, protein pharmaceuticals uh, is one of them so protein pharmaceutical uh, india private limited is a asia pacific subsidiary and we operate in asia pacific countries so this is uh, the leader in vector pages and uh, uh, we we serve uh, our vector pages for livestock and poultry and mostly the company works on the precision biology and this is uh, we go we are very proud to say that this is and we have got patent for this so i would like to um, introduce the topic the topic is natural bird is e coli you know i was you know talking to various farmers various fraternities various consultants and everybody and people they say oh man so that e coli is a big problem in india you know the people they don't consider salmonella the big problem but e coli is definitely a big problem so we are coming with a solution that is natural guard so the bacteria pages are the natural so you know the organisms which fights against this uh, deadly uh, e coli or you can say the avian pathogenic e coli so i would like to introduce the speakers puja you can go to the next slide okay we have wonderful speaker uh, our renowned speaker is justina she is our chief rep development officer from poland she is the brain uh, what is called the buffer call what we are launching today or the ecoli product what we are launching today is her brain child what is called as and she is the mastermind uh, to develop this product she is from the product development side from poland and she will speak on uh, this technology uh, we have another speaker dr sudeep dalbar uh my friend good friend and he is working as director in uh, agribet consultancy uh, and by another good friend dr shivaji de probably he is also attending this uh, webinar so i welcome you everyone i welcome the speakers and uh, i will not take much of your time so i will i will switch over to the, the actual presentation so yeah go to the presentation please okay so before that uh, uh, there are certain rules uh, i would like to tell you the, the agenda uh, there is a you know this very short agenda but size e coli uh, in poultry productions just in i will speak on that vector pages against e coli and there will be trial report what we conducted in india so where dr sudeep will speak on that there will be question and answer session uh, question and answer session is there is always a fun part and that will be we will be announcing the quiz what we did in last time so the winners will be given the awards so this will be and the puja will take care of that so uh, there is some basic you know the result as uh, housekeeping you know formalities so everybody will be muted and if, if, if anybody has to ask a question so they have to put in their there in the chat box uh, most probably our uh, efficient speaker or i mean speaker will try to answer that but if it is there then then we will give you a chance to you know open your question uh, to ask in the forum also so this is all about and i think uh, let's go to the presentation please uh so last for one hour yeah Absolutely. and uh, one last thing before we start uh, the, all the question and answers to be put in the q and a box which you can see on the your screen so we will try our best to answer we and our speakers will try our best to answer it so yeah and then go to you so what to you guys wake up come on just now what to you please hey thank you hello everyone uh, i'd like first of all to thank the organizer of this meeting for inviting me here today and let me start by saying just a few words about my own background uh, my name is Istana Andresak I am a biotechnologist and I have been working with professor Yaroslav Dastik the CEO and the founder of the company uh, for many years as dr Ramdas mentioned I'm responsible for new product development in protein pharmaceuticals in Poland Feeding the world in a sustainable way is one of the most pressing challenges in the coming decades. As you all know, poultry meat plays a pivotal role in this, and this is an important source of nutrition. Global demand for poultry meat is growing. In the, uh, in the past 50 years, uh, meat production has increased more than four times. In India, poultry is one of the fastest growing agri uh, agricultural segments. But with the scale of production growing so rapidly, the sector is also facing challenges. Colibacillosis is one of the most devastating bacterial diseases with a substantial economic impact to the poultry industry. But how we can protect our flocks from this threat? Next, please. Um, let's look at this problem in a bit more detail. 
This is a graphic representation of E. coli bacteria, which is a natural component of the intestinal flora of humans and animals. However, some E. coli strains have specialized in pathogenicity due to the acquisition and expression of virulence genes. Among the E. coli strains that infect animals, avian pathogenic E. coli, APEC, deserves special attention as it is one of the leading causes of mortality and as a consequence, the economic losses in poultry industry. Next slide, please. Colibacillosis refers to any localized or, systema or systemic infection caused partially or entirely by avian pathogenic E. coli, which includes several clinical disease manifestations. Initial symptoms of colibacillosis include sepsis, which may result in death or localized multiple, multiple organ inflammation. Next slide, please. What conclusion can we draw from this? Chicken of all ages are susceptible to colibacillosis, but, but young birds are more frequently and more severely affected. Colibacillosis often occurs together with the other diseases, making it more difficult to diagnose. Typical symptoms of colibacillosis are showed, shown in the slide and uh, can result in high mortality, lower egg production and decrease of hatching rate. Next slide, please. Currently, there are various methods of preventing, reducing, and treating APEC infections. It is well known that implemented biosecurity practice will help to avoid bacterial infections in flocks. What is more, for preventing infections, many types of vaccines have been developed. But uh, due to the fact that APEC strains are highly diverse, the effectiveness of, uh, of commercially available vaccine is not sufficient. E. coli autovaccines are also utilized, but their effectiveness is reduced by challenges in identification of the virulent strains of E. coli bacteria. Unfortunately, the use of antibiotics still remains the most popular method of treatment. The most commonly used are, for example, beta-lactams, aminoglycosides, macrolides, tetracyclines. Many E. coli strains have developed and are still gaining drug resistance. That is why it is so urgent to find another solution. Next slide, please. How many of you have ever heard about phages? I'm guessing that most of you actually did hear or even studied about bacteriophages. If you know our other products such as Bafazal or Bafazal Plus G, you probably know that our products contain bacteriophages. Our company have been researching and studying this amazing organism for over 10 years. And I would like to tell you now, really, really briefly about them, including the fascinating mechanism of action. Next slide, please. Bacteriophages are a naturally occurring organism that attack only specific bacteria, while, while remaining completely safe for animals, human, and environment. They are the oldest organism on our planet and constitute the largest group of, uh, of organisms on Earth. Each phage strain acts selectively against only one species of bacteria, which makes them completely safe for the beneficial diversity of the microbiome. On this slide, you can see the graphical representation of a uh, phage particle, as well as, uh, as, well as the actual photo uh, of one of the phages that is present in our product. Next slide, please. Bacteriophages can undergo two types of life cycle, lytic and on the left, and lysogenic. In protein, we are using only lytic phages, which means that after entering the bacteria, they immediately take over bacterial machinery, replicate to create new phage particles, and destroy bacterial cell without having the possibility to integrate the bacterial genome. As you see, they're really fierce bacterial killers. Next slide. And last but not least, let me briefly go through uh, the advantages of bacteriophage technology. Our products are very specific and highly focused only on the virulent avian pathogenic E. coli. So do not, uh, do not affect negatively beneficial microflora of the gut. They're acting directly at the site of infection. They're a natural part of the environment and are totally safe for animals and humans. They're active also on the antibiotic resistance strains. 
they're composed into cocktails, which assures the broad activity spectrum and prevents the possibility of resistance development. And they are active on the bacteria that can create biofilms. Next slide, please. As I mentioned, Protean Pharmaceuticals is a bacteriophage company. We have been working with bacteriophages for 10 years and uh, we have significant experience in creation of novel, effective and industrially applicable solutions. We know our phages inside out. From their DNA sequence, spectrum of activity, safety to their stability in different conditions. That is why our solutions are, are characterized with high commercial readiness and can be easily implemented on the farm. Our product, Bafacol, is a result of comprehensive R&D studies, which prove its efficacy in prevention of the infection caused by pathogenic E. coli in poultry. Next slide, please. Let me show you the results of one of the in vivo trials we performed. In this study performed in Europe last summer, we were focusing on evaluating efficacy of the product in three different application schemes, the every other day application, prophylactic use, and therapeutic approach. The infection was performed using the mixture of three different virulent E. coli apex strains, injected directly to the R sacs of the animals. In each group, we had 128 furlers. As you can see on the graph, the results showed that each bafacol application was effective in prevention, uh, prevention of colibacillosis, which was proven in the lower mortality rates in the groups T3, T4, uh, T5, compared to the positive control group. What is more, we observed also lower FCR in all bafacol groups, which indicates its positive, positive influence on production parameters. That is why we strongly believe that this product can make a difference and support the Indian farmers' effort to protect their flocks from avian pathogenic E. coli. Okay, this brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. Okay, let's switch to the, the next the presenter, Dr. Sudipto. Yeah. So, okay. hello everybody. Thanks, Dr. Kamle, and thanks, Justina for your nice presentation. Um, in fact, uh, Pooja, can you move to the next slide gradually? I I'll tell you. So here I'm just going to present a case study in which the efficacy of buffer call was tested in broilers under the Indian condition. Okay, Pooja, can you keep, please keep uh, the second slide, please? Yeah. The next one, please. So as Justina has explained nicely that bacteriophages, they are very much specific in their action. As this is simply some sort of, you can say that the lock and key functions by which the bacteriophages work. And in fact, the bacteriophages, they are sometimes better than the antibiotics in controlling the E. coli, especially when we find that the E. coli, they are resistant to some of the bacteria antibiotics because antibiotics are used rampantly in many of the farming operations and as a result of this they go like get uh, resistant to those antibiotics and under such conditions the bacteriophages can be a big solution for this uh, big problem I should say. Now the advantage of bacteriophage is quite unique because these bacteriophages as I said and as Justina has explained in her presentation that they are very much specific in their actions and they work only on the epic against which they are directed to. Therefore, these bacteriophages, they do not, they, they do not affect the other bacteria. Now, one of the problems with what we observe while using the antibiotics is that these antibiotics, they work uh, some sort of, you know, that uh, a sort of blanket action. The blanket action means it works against many of the bacteria which are present in the small intestine. And as a result, what happens that the E. coli or salmonella or any other pathogens, they get affected surely. But at the same time, what happens? Many of the friendly bacteria, for example, the lactobacilli, the bifidobacteria, they are also getting affected. As a result, what happens? That the overall microbiota in the small intestine of a chicken, that gets impacted uh, to a great extent. And this brings down the performance levels of the birds. But Unlike the antibiotics, the bacteriophages, they are highly specific in action and 
they maintain the overall favorable microecological balance in the intestinal environment. Please move to the next slide, Pooja. Next one, please, yeah. Now, all these bacteriophages, they are not the same and they don't yield the same effect. And, and if we expect that, yes, we, we may pick up one bacteriophage and we apply this one and this will give some sort of, you know, magical effect, it's not true. It, it cannot be true rather because this is some sort of, you know, as I said, that the lock and key function. So for a specific lock, we need a specific key. Similarly, for a specific E. coli, we need a specific bacteriophage. So the main purpose of, or you, you can say that uh, a, a very prerequisite of any bacteriophage treatment module should be to test if the bacteriophage is active against the E. coli which are prevailing in that particular locality. In a particular form, in a particular locality, strains of E. coli are present and these strains are very specific. One strain which is present in Kolkata may not be present in Mumbai or the one present in Mumbai cannot be present in Chennai. So there will be there will be different strains of E. coli which may be present from one form to another and the bacteriophages may be required to be changed depending upon the strain of the E. coli which is involved in the specific infections in chickens. So sometimes it, it, it is needed that, that when the bacteriophage treatment module is developed, a cocktail of bacteriophages have to be present there. These cocktail of bacteriophages, they provide some sort of blanket protection against the number of E. coli strains which may be present in a specific locality. And, and this particular product on which we did this experiment, it was a cocktail of bacteriophage. I think Dr. Kamle and, Dr. and Justina can explain this in a better way, that it was a cocktail of bacteriophage. We tested the efficacy of this particular bacteriophage cocktail against the E. coli strains which are present in the locality. And we find that the in vitro activity or in vitro efficacy of this bacteriophage cocktail was quite encouraging in controlling the growth of E. coli in, in this locality. Please move to the next slide. So the objective was very clear and it was it was it was very simple. The main objective was to check whether this bacteriophage cocktail buffer call it can be used as a prophylactic agent or if it is used as a therapeutic agent then how it works. So this was very simple means if if I if I keep on using buffer call as a prophylactic agent if I if I if I put this this buffer call in the treatment module in the in the supplementation module then whether it can check the pathogenicity which is created by a sudden surge in the apic infection uh, in the chickens or if at all there there is one infection that can be prevented or that can be checked by application of buffer call so this was the simple objective of this experiment please to the next slide there were five treatment groups there was one control group that was not exposed to any sort of E. coli challenge during the experimentation period. That is, that was a 35 days duration. Then there was a challenge group. This challenge group, it consisted of the same dietary regime as, as we followed in the unchallenged group. The only difference is that, that this particular group was exposed to E. coli challenge on 14th and 15th day of age. And the load of infection or the dose of infection was 10 to the about 8 colony forming units of E. coli per bird per day through oral garbage. So this level of E. coli that is considered to be um, substantial enough to create enough of performance depression and, and even it was quite substantial to even create mortality in the birds uh, in, 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 at, at this particular age. The third group, it was a treatment group consisting of buffer call where buffer call was given to the birds at every alternate day from the beginning till the end of the study. The fourth group that was a prophylactic group in which buffer call was given from first for the first 14 days of life before the challenge was induced. That means uh, from 1 to 14 days of age. And the last group was a therapeutic group in which buffer call was given post challenge after the challenge was introduced. Buffer call was given and it was continued for the next 14 days till 28 days of age. So this was the description of the treatment. This is very clear and this, this supports the objective whether buffer call can be given as a prophylactic or as a therapeutic agent or what will be the impact if buffer call is given on a regular basis uh, at every alternate days. Move to the next one, please, Pooja. Yeah, so this is the description of the treatments in more detail. Total number of treatments, five. 
total replications in every treatment was 10. We put we rather we could put five birds in a single replication because you know that a lot of ethical guidelines we have to follow since we are exposing the birds to some sort of uh, in, in, uh, infection. Uh, all male birds were used and the duration of the study was 35 days. The mode of application of bofacol was through drinking water and the concentration of bacteriophage was 10 to the power 6 fudge forming unit for every bird on each day of administration. So this was basically the description of the treatments which is quite clear and this is sufficiently robust to prove a challenge model. Move on to the next slide. Yeah. So results and discussion, well, move to the next one. So this, this particular slide, it describes how the body weight of the birds change during the pre and the post challenge periods. Here we can see that the body weight during the pre challenge period before the challenge was induced, the body weight was similar. During the post challenge at the time of the harvest at 35 days, again, there was statistically no difference in terms of body weight between the groups, but there was a dip numerically when the challenge was introduced. And interestingly, what we find here that therapeutic application of buffer call uh, after the challenge was induced that could restore the body weight to the normal level. That means what we observed with the control group, unchallenged control group, we could get a similar level of body weight with the therapeutic application of buffer call. Next one, please. Yeah, next, Puya. Yeah. Are you able to see the next one? Yeah, next one I can see. So this is the pre and post challenge body weight changes. Body weight change means this this is this is uh, interesting and this is in fact important that because when the challenge is induced, so automatically there will be a negative effect of the challenge on the body weight changes. So this is very much important the how the birds responded to the bacteriophage treatment after the challenge was induced. And here we can see that when Bofacol was given as a therapeutic application, that means from the 14 to 28 days of age, it could maintain the body weight. It could your rice breaking weight. in between. <clears throat> yep, yeah, pardon? Yes, somewhere so, the rice was breaking in between. Okay, uh, so this could maintain the body weight gain from during the post challenge period and uh, even it was better than the unchallenged group. That means this is very interesting and this is very encouraging in fact that when buffer call was given as a therapeutic it could it could not only restore the body weight to the level of uh, you know the, the, the unchallenged control group but at the same time rather it improved the body weight gain and and uh, maintained it at a higher level please to the next slide So fit conversion ratio, in fact, uh, there was not much statistical effect on the fit conversion ratio of the birds during this uh, experiment. Um, but whatever, anyway, what we can see that application of bacteriophage, both as a prophylactic agent and as a therapeutic agent, it could improve the fit conversion ratio compared to the unchallenged control group. This is again one of the encouraging points uh, because here uh, we can see that uh, application of bacteriophage can improve the fit conversion ratio compared to the compared to the unchallenged group compared to the control group so uh, some sort of we can say that uh, a growth promotion effect was also observed in this trial with this buffer call next one <clears throat> liability is one of the big parameters that actually determines the efficacy of any additive any treatment module uh, for any challenge challenge experiment. Now here we can see that liability that was lower when the birds were challenged, when birds, birds were exposed to E. coli challenge. And when the birds were given the prophylactic dosing at every alternate days, then it reduced the mortality to a great extent and the liability was almost at par with the unchallenged group. Similarly, when the buffer call was given as a therapeutic agent during 14 to 28 days of age, the liability was improved and again it was almost at par with the unchallenged control group. So this again again shows that application of bacteriophage could restore the, could, could reduce the mortality and could improve the liability and as a result the overall productivity index can be improved when bacteriophage in the form of buffer call either as a therapeutic or as a prophylactic agent is given to the birds. 
Next one, please. Next slide. Yes. So coming to the conclusion applications, uh, we can say that bacteriophage treatment in the form of buffer call as a therapeutic agent during 15 to, 15 to 28 days, it improved the body weight following E. coli challenge. Post-challenge fit conversion ratio was maintained by prophylactic or therapeutic application of buffer call. And this was almost at par with the unchallenged control group. Buffer call treatment significantly reduced mortality compared to the challenge group. And therefore, we can say that buffer call as a therapeutic or prophylactic agent may be considered as a potential alternative for antibiotic treatments in poultry production to combat polybacillosis in chickens. Thank you very much. Oh, Thank you. That's, that's wonderful. Uh, it's an uh, in depth presentation. Uh, if everybody can hear me, uh, I really thank you for uh, Christina for her uh, research and um, her efforts putting uh, behind this product. And I also thank you, Dr. Uh, Sudipto, uh, for doing some wonders uh, you know, the, and giving the in depth uh, presentation on what he found in this trial. So, probably, at conclusion, so both product is really working. Yeah. I guess uh, we have some issues with Dr. Ramdas. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, something is breaking. Yeah, your voice is breaking, Dr. Ramdas. Uh, no worries, please. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's in between because I'm sitting in the hotel. So. No, I, I I can see one I can see one question addressed to me. Yes. Uh, Dr. Sudipto, it would be great if you could take it. That's yeah. right. Anyway, so the thank you. This is going to be a breakthrough product. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Shall Sudipto, answer, yes, uh, please. Shall I answer the question addressed to me? The question is from Mr. Atul Singh, and the question is which species of epic are used for this for this study? In fact, I uh, think I think question and answer. We are going to take it uh, at the end. Uh, okay. So. Yeah, let, let us launch this uh, product uh, through a small video and then, then we can definitely go to answer the questions, please. Yeah? Yes, here, here you go. Yeah, so you already seen that. Okay, this is... Okay, uh, so we are launching Bafakal, uh, Master Shoot product in controlling the E. coli, rather I would say pathogenic E. coli, even pathogenic E. coli. So let's go, go through, yeah, and you know this uh, bottle is up 200. Yeah, uh, uh, brother, it will certain features and benefit, benefits you already seen in this world, but it's peace of mind to control the most burning problem in India. Indian farming condition that is even pathogenic equalized. So let's go to the video. That's wonderful. So Pooja, now that the next session, because my uh, net is really breaking, so Pooja, you just take the control of uh, Q&A and then uh, the fun part. Sure. Uh, thank you, Dr. Ramdas. Thank you, Yustin, and thank you, Dr. Sudipto. Now we move to the question and answer round. So we have already many questions. I can see 13 questions. 